It does look like there's footprints down there. I just stumbled into a termagant finally. It's right down here. Alright, well it's a beautiful spring day here, mid-March, and um, this time of year the snow get a little rough in the afternoons. We're going to try and head up to a favorite spot in town, um, have a higher elevation, and see if we can get on some ptarmigan. So just grabbing my stuff now, make sure I'm all geared up. It's cold here, but once you start hiking up there it's going to get hot quick, so I think this will be enough. All right, so heavy pack. That's gonna be tough if there's soft snow, but hopefully the track is packed down at least to get out of good ways and we can go on snowshoe from there. All right, hopefully we find some. Man, it's gonna be a bright sunny day. This may not work out, but at least go get some exercise. Unfortunately, it's probably a half hour drive or more. To get out there. Best case scenario would be to find all three ptarmigan species. All right, so we're off the pavement now, cruising through uh, this back road. Pretty sunny out here. The snow's gonna be soft. Luckily, there's not much of it. So we'll see. There's a guy here with a dog running off leash. He just keeps screaming at it. Otherwise, it'd be nice and quiet. All right, we're off. You can see, there must have been running and it slid. There's a wing print. And it stopped, walked up this way. Can't tell if that's just a dog print there, but you can see more termigan tracks going up that way. Um, we're gonna try and get up to the top of this rock. See if we can't find something. All right, still climbing here, but I wanted to show you. There's a spot where they've been feeding it's old, there's no tracks, but you can see how they pick at the bark and buds just in these low willow shrub. Still some prints through here, but don't see any birds. All right, I wanted to show you guys this little area I found. There's a um, cool little site here where you can see Clearly the ptarmigan came in and made a little bed. It's uh, really cool. They like these spots where they can just kind of tuck into a thick spot, have multiple ways out. It's right here at their food source. And then they just dig themselves a little hole. So the majority of them is flat, just their head poking out, you know, and then you can see here where it moved on. You can just kind of go from willow to willow. All right, well, I climbed up, I don't know, maybe six, seven hundred feet now. Um, it's a beautiful sunny day, but that means the integrity of the snow is just deteriorating, so got halfway up and it was good easy walking on top and then I just started post holing through really deep stuff which makes it almost impossible to get up here luckily now uh, the rest of the way just intermittent um, spots of snow so I'll be a little bit easier to um, 
cover, but it's still steep. I'm gonna finish my apple and get back to it. No ptarmigan yet, still plenty of signs. Um, up higher now, uh, where hopefully we'll run into some rock ptarmigan. Um, most of the snow's gone, but there's some drifted stuff here that I'm wondering what it's gonna be like to cross. Check out this view with me. Here's um, Susitna, Mount Susitna, also known as Sleeping Lady. And you got the military base here. Um, you can just make out downtown. It does look like there's footprints down there. But the, um, man, I don't see any birds. There are a lot of little pockets they could be down in. So I wonder if I should not drop down too quick. Well, let me get packed up and we'll head on. And I'll start making my way in, kind of go through this bowl and then drop down, see if we can pick up willow or white-tailed on the way. So wish me luck. All that hard work of climbing up here, we finally get to do the fun part. Well, it appears I'm going to get skunked. I've seen so many prints. This whole area... Oh, God. Fall down. <laughs> this whole area is covered in, in ptarmigan prints, but they're all quiet. Uh, someone skiing spooked up a willow ptarmigan down in the valley here. So there's a good chance I might startle one of those dropping down in. Before I do, though, I'm trying to scan down just to make sure I don't want to go scooting right past one, but yeah, I don't, don't see any. Just sliding down and I couldn't keep sliding so I had to walk. I just stumbled into a term again, finally. It's right down here in these trees. It's probably only like 15 feet from me, but uh, it's going to be real hard to set up right here. All right. Everyone's just got dogs out here harassing birds. Oh, what do you know? Someone's off leash dog runs all the way over here and chases off five or six. So I guess that'll be the end of it. Yeah, well, I can't really end it there, so I'm going to go ahead and I'll show you guys some footage of white-tailed ptarmigan from 2023.